if you have the my UX bundle you can find the x-ray window over here on the sidebar and the content browser on the top bar over here and you can find the multi-layer texturing tool easy texture right here and the toolbox now the texturing tool is still a work in progress some of the buttons may not work uh, but it's uh, still very useful when using with uh, x-ray and if you have bought the uh, x-ray as a separate product you can find it on a shelf x-ray shelf the main x-ray window the layer texturing tool and the content browser okay so when we open the window this is what we see at the top of the window uh, lighting core, reflection core and SSS core now X-ray is made for you to get the best out of your render engines and you can use a different render engine for each aspect of your rendering for example I can use Richie for lighting uh, V-Ray for reflection and Arnold for subsurface scattering and this uh, see the mixed result of all of this in real time right inside of the viewport so currently these render engines are supported and if you have a license for any of this for example a ratio for V-Ray uh, you can just use them as your X-Ray core alright after you set your X-Ray cores we have build quality uh, currently this only works with Turtle, but in future versions I will try to make them work with V-Ray, Arnold and Redshift as well. So the way they work with Turtle is like this. Uh, this is how your scene looks like with basic quality. It doesn't have any GI and only casts direct light and shadows. This is how it looks like with draft quality. You have final getter, GI and low settings. This is how it looks like with medium quality. You have both Final Getter and Patch Tracer GI in decent quality, and you are good to use medium for most of your renders. Uh, after that, if you want a cleaner result, uh, you can use High. Uh, this is how it looks like in High, and this is how it looks like in medium can see it's not really uh, that different that different but uh, you get a better result in high the difference between the baking time of medium and high is also a lot so I don't recommend using high or, or, or ultra unless it's really necessary and this is how it looks like in ultra setting high ultra if you look closely at those, this part you can see that ultra is actually cleaner okay so after that we have light map resolution if you use Unreal Engine or other game engines you might be familiar with the old light map resolution and the light baking system but if you don't know how it works uh, basically it captures the lighting of the scene make a texture from them and apply it to objects and this is the resolution of that texture and this is actually the default resolution the each uh, one of the objects in your scene have its own light map resolution just like in Unreal so uh, whenever you build the lights uh, in your scene it will add that attribute to all the objects based on this resolution and you can also add it manually for example selecting this object pressing add attribute and if you look at the channel box it has a light map resolution with the resolution that we set here so let's break all the lights and see how it works okay so for most objects the default resolution especially if you uh, have lots of props and small objects the default resolution might be enough but for more complex uh, objects which has more details you need to increase the resolution 
For example, the default 64, it now looks like this. And as you can see, you don't have really uh, any of the details of the face. And for this one, the shadow just doesn't have uh, the quality that we need. But it may not look that bad on the on some other objects. So if you want to increase the resolution of any of the objects, you can select one or multiple one of them and just set a high resolution. I don't recommend just jumping to a very high resolution at first because uh, you may not really that much of high resolution to achieve the detail that you want and it can really affect the baking speed. So I've already tested this scene so I'm going to set it to 512 and bake these objects. Alright, and as you can see it looks much better now and it captures all the details of the geometry. You can build each object with a different render engine. So for example I think it will look cleaner if I use Turtle to build these objects and uh, since this model has a, needs a better shadow quality I can use V-Ray only for this character. So I can select these two objects change the core to turtle and build selected. I can do the same for floor as well. Just like that. And to use this feature you need to use Maya's default light as they work in uh, all different render engines but in, in future versions I will try to and make a converter so even if you were using V-Ray or Redshift lights it will convert them automatically to different render engines and uh, give it the same result. Now let's take a look at the light map display. Uh, whenever you build lights the light map you will get enabled. Uh, you see your scene in its final form and you also don't see any of the lights in the scene. Uh, you can disable light map display by pressing this button. It will show you the default viewport to view and you also see all of your lights. You can enable it back by pressing this button. And you can reassign light maps with this last button. So if I change materials, for example the material of this one, you can see that it doesn't have any light map applied to it. So you can select the object and press the assign light map button to reassign light map to the, the new material. 